In this video, you'll see how to enforce license rules defined as license configurations in AWS License Manager. AWS License Manager enforces your license rules when you launch new instances using Amazon Machine Images, EC2 launch templates, AWS CloudFormation templates, AWS Service Catalog, or software acquired from AWS Marketplace. In License Manager, you can associate AMIs with a license configuration to track licenses as new Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud or EC2 instances are created. Or you can manually associate running environments with a license configuration. Additionally, there are several other ways that you can configure AWS services to track licenses as services are provisioned. Let's take a look. First, let's look at the EC2 launch templates. You can use launch templates to create a saved EC2 instance configuration that can be reused for future launches. Let's create a launch template. First, provide a template name. Next, select the Amazon Machine Image, or AMI, for this template. Let's leave the rest of the settings in this section at their default values. Now expand the Advanced Details section to locate the settings for license configurations. Select a license configuration and then create the launch template. The launch template has been successfully created. Now, when you create a new EC2 instance from this launch template, the license consumption will be correctly tracked in License Manager. Let's see how this works by launching a new instance. Notice that you are required to select a template version before launching. In this case, only one version exists. Next, let's launch the instance from the template. You can see that the instance has successfully launched. Now, let's return to License Manager. Let's refresh the screen. Notice that an additional SQL Server license has been consumed. Next, let's see how to track license consumption in AWS CloudFormation templates. First, let's create a new stack, which defines resources to be deployed as a single unit. You can choose to select an existing template or a sample template, or you can create a new template. In this case, let's select an existing template. Let's review this template file in the AWS CloudFormation Designer. This template file specifies the creation of an EC2 instance. Notice the license specifications element in the template code. This enables us to specify which license configuration to use for this resource when creating a stack. Now let's quickly proceed through the rest of the steps to create this stack. You can specify stack details. In this case, provide a name. You can also configure stack options, including tags, permissions, and other advanced options. Finally, review the settings. Now you can create the stack. After a few minutes, you can refresh the events list to ensure that the stack deployment has succeeded. As you can see, the stack has been created. Let's return to License Manager. When you refresh the page again, notice that additional SQL Server licenses have been consumed. You can also configure products in the Service Catalog to consume licenses. Let's create a new product to see how. First, enter some basic details about the product and proceed through the wizard. Just like you saw previously, you can include an AWS CloudFormation template file that defines this product. This template file can include the code you saw earlier for consuming a license in License Manager. Give this version a title and complete the product creation. The product has been successfully created. You can choose to make a product available in a portfolio to end users. In this case, let's move on. Finally, let's see how to track license usage for products acquired from the AWS Marketplace. 
You can search the AWS Marketplace for products that allow you to download an AWS CloudFormation template for deployment in your account. For example, let's search for Tableau Server. Notice that one of the product options is a bring your own license environment. After you subscribe to this product and download the AWS CloudFormation template, you can add a code snippet to the file to define the associated license configuration in License Manager, as you saw earlier. You can then use AWS CloudFormation to deploy this product to your account. You've just seen how to enforce license rules with AWS License Manager. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.